That's Prince Ali there. Now, Jackson Martinez moved for $45 million. Alex Xera for $55 million. There have been some massive transfer deals in Chinese football, but the spending must stop, for now at least, as the transfer window closes on Friday. The new season starts on March the 4th, and Mark Dreyer from China Sports Insider tells us that interest has never been greater. There's not going to be the, the, the sort of the countdown around the clock with, with people camped outside the grounds. I don't think we're quite at that stage yet, but I think the big deals have been done. You're only allowed five foreign stars uh, per team, so most of those slots have been filled. But I don't think we're going to see any big names uh, in the last day or two. Wait till the summer for the next ones. They're not all going to settle quickly, are they? I mean, we've seen that when it comes to the Premier League and, and other uh, foreign leagues. You can't expect someone to just pitch up, particularly when they're, arguably going largely for the money, not for footballing reasons. It's obviously great for the league to have this interest, to have the extra money and, and to, have, to generate the, the, the revenues that we've seen, which, which hopefully translates onto the pitch. But we saw with the Premier League, you know, when the influx of foreign stars a couple of decades ago, did that help uh, the development of English football? We, emphatically, emphatically, I think you have to argue it did not. So the Chinese national team is, is obviously, they've struggled. That's a, that's a well-known fact. And that's a big source of, of shame for, for all Chinese football fans, really. So can these foreign players uh, help the development of Chinese football? Perhaps, but, you know, I'll wait to see. It's Mark Dreyer there now with 161 days to